Uh, howdy. Yes. So, no, oh, I know Valkyrie. I know. So we are. Uh, we're not in my truck. We're not in the Kia. We're not in one of the cars. It's okay, puppy. We're in my guest bedroom. Also, my Grom garage at this point. Um, yes, Valkyrie. I know. I know. And the puppy is insisting on puppy time. But basically it's raining, it's crappy. I work Saturday till 4 a.m. Um, so we're just gonna do a quick little tinker thing on the Grom. Uh, stock tail light. Um, didn't really care about if I had the big tail light or not. Uh, one of my friends wanted it and uh, since I didn't care, I just traded him out the tail light. Uh, but basically, we're going to be working on what I call Yoshi, which is my 2019 Honda Grom 125. Uh, I'm just going to be real quick installing the tail light. It's just the factory one. So what had happened was I was out at a meet. Sadly, I didn't get it on video. I was doing wheelies and uh, completely flipped the bike over backwards. I looped it. Um, as my daughter likes to say, I ran out of talent halfway through. So... That is my Honda Grom and a puppy Valkyrie. Uh, I love this stupid little thing. Um, I do have other motorcycles. Uh, they're, they're bigger bikes, but this thing is just so much fun. So uh, I'm going to leave this one on this channel. The bigger bikes go on my other motorcycle specific channel. See if we can set y'all up somewhere there. What y'all probably notice, y'all y'all probably notice some minor editing in this. It's gonna be real simple. I don't even know if I'll do it. If it's just a few minutes, you may just get the whole rough thing of me maneuvering things around. Easy Valkyrie. Yeah, I know Valkyrie. So since it's just literally replacing a factory one, it's just gonna go like so. No! Almost dropped a nut because the dog was licking me. Valkyrie, stop, please. Put some washers over these little rubber bushings just to give it something else to sit on. This goes like so. Little nuts, some washers. I want to say they were 10, 10 millimeter nuts. Could be wrong. Yep. The mythical. The mythical 10 millimeter. Snug it up. Snug it up. Since this is literally just a stock one going back, I now just need to route the wire in a manner that makes it happy. So, down in here there is a little uh, little clip that these things sit into. clip. Open this guy up a little. Oh boy. I may not have thought this through. Hmm. So. She's mad I won't give her attention. Fish it through, line it back up. The plug's right there again. This is all factory parts going back on. Boom. Plug back in. The only thing I need to do now, all we got to do now is test it. Look out, puppy. 
So where did I set those keys last? Ah, I left them right there. So there's the keys. Okay. Now we'll go over it a little bit. So the battery in there is a LiPo battery. I swapped it out. Uh, basically, it's like 60 bucks on Amazon. And it weighs a pound of 1.2 pounds according to the thing. The battery feels super light. It feels like a shell. Um, but the real reason why I did it is I don't have to worry about tending it, the shelf chargers, all those things. None of that stuff has to be worried about it. Um, you know, you can't put this on a regular charger because it's a LiPo. The way it charges and uncharges and a, with the, the charging system on the, on the Grom is completely different, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I do have a set of bars over there. They're going to have to go on it. I still got to figure out mounting the tail light. Yes, those are the headers for the, for the RAM. There's a the go fast juice. The other go fast juice for the, or those are the headers for the Ranger. The go fast juice for the RAM's in the closet. There's just parts everywhere. I have FXDR parts. There's a hydraulic handbrake. This, this room is a destroyed mess. So, anyway, we're just seeing, yay, the light came on. Let's see if it gets brighter when I hit it. Got brighter. And then, one thing I will let y'all know that I found out is that if you buy some levers, make sure, even though these were said they were for a Grom, I don't know if y'all can see it there. There's a little nipple there that that is missing. And I'm going to put my finger on it, go over there. When I push this in, see how it got dimmer? That is what actuates your brake light. And these do not work for that. There we go. But since we can't do anything with the Ranger, that's what I did there. Um, this Grom is pretty stock still. It's just some appearance stuff. Uh, everything on it's eBay or used or just cheap stuff that I found on Amazon. I sticker bombed the muffler after I crashed the first time. It scratched up. I'm probably going to leave it for now. Uh, when I did loop it, it bent the bars. It broke that rear set assembly off. I had to source one of those. Um, honestly, a lot of friends helped me out. My buddy John gave me the bars that are going on here. Um, had a nice little fender on it that got busted off. I bought the 12 o'clock stunt bar for it. Um, but this will pop up from time to time. I got it in here. It's easy. As you can see, there's an engine cage on it now. Uh, and then one thing I still got to get working on it is the DinoJet, DinoJet tuner system with... The wideband O2 sensor it has to be welded on um, so still got to sort all that so that video is probably coming and I'm probably gonna do a camshaft and then call it it for this so anyway that is the Yoshi Grom so like I said that's my little 2019 Honda Grom Yoshi uh, You'll see this one. You'll probably see the Ram truck here soon. It's just a matter of when I can work on what I can work on. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful night and have a good day. And uh, God bless and hang in there. Uh, get out there and work on something.